Palace Hideout, Eastern Palace, Elder House Left, Tower of Hera, Elder House Right, Desert Palace, Main Snitch, Lady West, Palace of Darkness, Kakariko, Well, Cave, Skull Woods, Front Snitch, Lady East, Swamp Palace, Back of Tavern, Ice Palace, Bush Covered House, Thieves Town, Tavern Front, Misery Mire, Desert Palace, North Desert Palace, Bomb Hut, Turtle Rock Front, Skull Woods, East Drop, Skull Pinball, Kakariko Shop, Cannon's Tower, Cannon's Tower. Yo, Gannon's Tower, indeed. Bush covered Gannon's house. Bush covered house too. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Only Doors semi-finals. I'm Dante, and I've got Humbug here with me. How you doing, man? Hello. I'm doing all right. How you doing, Dante? I am doing really good. Uh, I am excited for some Only Doors action. We did a. Oh. Uh, a vodcast of week one, and then it kind of, I, I let it fall off the map. I apologize, but here we are with the semifinals, uh, and I am, I'm kind of hyped to see how uh, this is all going to pan out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is probably like a normal only doors speed that we all know and love at this point. The mode mm -hmm. uh, is kind of hectic to start, uh, but this will be also hectic, I guess. Yeah, top right. With, with everything shuffled, sort of. It is going to be really hectic. That's probably the best way to put it. Top right of your screen, mm -hmm. instead of having a player two, that is kind of our guide for uh, people who may be new to the only doors. The maps are kind of there. It's I know it's small, but we're doing Pato Lotto. We're doing Enemy Drop. It's a 420 out of 469 Triforce Peace Hunt, or rather to kill Ganon. So Ganon Hunt. Um, and the reason Jim has that X beside his name is because he already has a strike. So two strikes, you're out. This is not quite like baseball. This is rando baseball, I think. I don't know what baseball is, so uh, that reference is lost. Is lost. Uh, I, I have I completely lost Humbug. <laughs> There's three strikes in baseball. There's only two in only doors. So <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. I can I can I can imagine an event that would have two strikes and three strikes instead of three. Oh instead. yeah. Yeah, I think I can do that. So we found uh well I say we found, we just we have Thieves Town literally right here. Uh you know, I get excited finding dungeons. We're gonna find a lot of those very quickly. Yes. Just because we know where they are. <laughs> yeah, so I, the word find is uh, is a choice. Um, yeah, we will uh, <laughs> we will we find will many things. <laughs> the gem seems to be the only one continuing. No, Telethoris as well. And he dropped out some for some reason out of Thieves Town. I don't know why, but he went to GT instead. And it's mm. dark. Yeah, I mean, maybe just kind of trying to find something to, I don't know, you, you maybe want to find something a little better to kill things faster in Thieves yeah. Town, but, you know, you start with the sword and pots and bones, so, uh, you know, it's not too terrible, but... And you, you start know. with 10 bombs in only doors in general, so you can you can do, like, what Jem and Teletar are doing here. Mm -hmm. uh, early Saha, which is... Teletar, you, you don't have real boots. Yeah, so speaking of that, uh, most people who may be coming, like, say, from Andy's stream, his tracker does not have this. But if you see those blue boots on Jim and Telethar's tracker, that is kind of the new indicator on some trackers for pseudo boots, just to let runners and viewers know that they can dash, but they cannot bonk things open, bonk across gaps, hover, etc. It's going to be a revolution for when we do next uh, season of PogChamp. Mm. Oh, it will be, yes, for yeah. everyone who always forgets, assuming they look at their tracker. Assuming they look at their tracker. People should look at the trackers, but... Oh, Andy. Okay, so Andy going right to the sword, but I believe uh, Jim is too, so this will be kind of nice for both yes. these guys. Oh, yeah. Also, this room, uh, this room poggers. <laughs> so yeah. It's I mean, in, in a lot of, a lot of... It's, it's usually boring, but... Like the enemy drop in Pato, like this is huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get so much. Um, we're almost halfway to 420. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting there. there. We're getting there. All right, everyone in GT. 
You have the sink oh, going up, uh, going up the mid here. <laughs> yeah. So, in only doors as well. Like it's 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 door random for sure. But we have vanilla lobbies. Yes. So that means that Telethar was in Mire earlier, but he could only do he he could like he can only kill the first what five or six blobs that are there because he can't get past the the hole. He doesn't have boots nor hookshot. Um. And the players know this, like they know that it's vanilla lobbies. Yeah, and that's kind of good because then you don't have to like decide like, oh, can I go to Swamp Palace without the flippers? Like, yeah. is there a chance for that? Mm -hmm. So the vanilla lobbies kind of let you know what your entry requirements are going to be throughout. Yeah, and it, it also makes it so that not everything is in magic to begin with. Uh, like you cannot get into Turtle Rock, you cannot get into Mario, you cannot mm -hmm. get into Ice. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so it, th there's actually logic very early, even. Oh, uh, yeah. Which, which is nice, even though it's a door seed, which is us usually very open. Oh, well, we will be able to get into ice on Andy's side as we see a laugh out of him. Gets a fire rod somewhere mm -hmm. along the way, but a glove here in the dark oh. room. This is not really in logic it until we not, find lamp. But, but it's huge. Yeah, he's having a poggers moment and you can see there to the right there's no key there on that door uh like it would be in vanilla so he can decide to continue on mm -hmm. there's three enemies in that next room because this is a super tile yeah the, all of these three rooms are on the same super tile so we know that we can do all of them but we don't have a blue square so apparently those are there are nothing there interesting all right well maybe he did that already or oh, that would be an explanation as well unbelievable though to get you know a firing glove the way we did uh, what the um <laughs> nice transition there uh, in the hyrule castle for jim i keep looking at the top right thinking that i've got a frozen feed on my stream but that is not the case <laughs> <laughs> that is not the case it's our uh yeah it's our guide it's our guide and Jem hmm. was also unlucky to find the worst room in all of Dorander, and that is the left side of Thieves' Town Attic. Because there are pots there that you can only get if you have flipped the switch, and there, yeah. are, there are pots there that you can only get if you haven't flipped the switch. And you cannot flip and unflip the switch at the same time. You can't flip and flop at the same time. You gotta, nope. Nope. <laughs> you gotta pick one or the other. Wait, did Andy pick up mitts already? He did. Uh... I want to say that was back here uh, in Back of Escape. That was rather oh. quick. So gamers will be gaming. Yep. Oh. oh, I was hoping Jen would bounce, but no. I mean, the I like the bounce strat there, maybe, but it, I don't know. It feels maybe a little too much of a time investment. Um, well, it's then again, okay. you fail one time. You fail one time. You, you can't really come back easily. So maybe it's right. worth it for the one try. Right, and you wanna you wanna go down anyway. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I would try it once. Is is Telethar? Like Telethar was fighting him. He was. Uh, did we get a hook shot or something to get across? <laughs> I was a little confused. Maybe he was trying to set up a bomb jump, like to go upwards. Because that yeah. that is definitely a strat you'll see people use. Yes. There are so many setups for for modern bounce but one of one of them at, at least like includes hitting moldorm so that he stays up top sort of yes Poor yeah, there's ways to manipulate him andy already finding paradox here like i mean we know this but you know like Heading, heading out, finding that exit to get to top of Hyrule Castle. Always, always an exciting time. Lots of items, lots of pots. Can this mode be configured for uh, extra long Triforce pickup animations? I mean, they could. There's a way to add frames and remove frames. and They should just play this on the zero pickup. <laughs> They that should. way they don't get any money. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do they... They barely need any money. It's not like they're going to do Zor. Right, right. I mean, I you could. That's a horrible idea, honestly. Just it is. Just start with 
a hundred bucks, so they can just do bottle vendor whenever. Yeah, give it to us, and then you don't get to buy any potions. Ha! Ah. <laughs> no safeties. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't need potions. Uh, they don't. Gauntlet backwards. Gauntlet backwards, honestly, is like one of the worst things in the video game. Yeah. Just, there, there's no really good strats for it. No. G5 and G4 backwards are so bad. G3 through 1 are fine, but still annoying. Mm hmm. Okay, Gem. Having to bomb this wall open. Luckily, like you said, started with 10 bombs, but we do have some available. Lots of enemies here in the main area lobby, whatever you want to call it, of or the hub of Swamp Palace here in Hyrule Castle. Swamp pub, yes. No big keys, we can't get the big chest, no hook shots, so we can't get the pots on the on the ledges, but we can kill enemies. There's just so many moving pieces that you have to keep yeah. track of when you play these types of seeds. And Jim is going to be first to the pearl here in Hyrule Castle. Delathar, not too far behind. Close behind. Yeah, they're still in Hyrule Castle, which is how Andy got to Paradox Cave in the first place. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Where did Andy find like uh, the, the dark rooms in Castle Tower for his first love? I want to say, were those in GT? Uh, were those? GT, they might have been yeah. those GT dark rooms. Right, right, because he was the first one into GT. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. GT, okay. okay, data confirming in chat. Yeah. Always trust data plan. Yeah, typing something that's not forfeit. I I approve. <laughs> <laughs> There are uh, some memes in our community. Oh, yeah. That is, that is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Andy going to be setting up here to... Is this going to be Mimic Clippable? I don't think it is. They are all three in the same room. Heck? Yeah, you love to see that. Yeah, no Mimic Clipping. There are... Well, we don't know what enemies are behind there. But yeah, no. No Mimic Clipping. Uh, the other thing, I guess, that's kind of like a caveat of this mode, and it's more of a, I, I'd say, gentleman's agreement, even though it's kind of like written out in the rules doc, you are not allowed to save scum keys. So if you spend a key poorly, um, you are locked into it. That is kind of the, the premise of this mode, just because otherwise it would be a little too easy sometimes. Yeah, since, since we know where all the dungeons are, there is no downside to to save scumming like you you know that you can get back and how to get back at any point so not allowing that is just making people actually play the game and not just save and quit all the time or well die all the time yeah i'll die all the time it'll be on accident but you know i'll do it <laughs> uh gt Fair small enough. here for humbug or excuse me uh for telethar i saw humbug's name on the layout there and i just instantly said humbug i'll take a gt small key that's fine yeah i'll pass one to you here through the through the discord call Thank you. And Jim and Telethar continuing their sync. You know, they were co-op partners here in the uh, most recent co-op tourney. And they're, they're, in that type of game, you don't want to be on top of each other. Uh, no. Checky checks. But uh, not knowing where your opponent is, it's funny to see them like be uh, together so much. <laughs> I feel like they have they have been like Gem was the is the I would say I think at least the Gem is the like author of Only Doors uh, but but him and Telethar has uh, talked a lot about it and, and played it a lot so uh, oh yeah it does make sense in a way that they play similar mm hmm yeah for sure I right, so tell her finding his way back into that mini Helma room in GT. Uh, but him and uh, Jim going to be going into Paradox now. Andy going deeper here into Hyrule Castle, kind of going in the same footsteps as they did. Uh, each runner in the 40s now, 44 for uh, Jim and Telethar, 43 for Andy. One-tenth of the way there. 
10%. All right, so let's do some quick maths. If we keep this collection rate up at 13 minutes, if we're 10%, that 130 means- 130 minutes, let's go. That, that'll be an actually sort of fast uh, one of these. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's gonna slow down. Um, at least I would assume that it would. Because it's got like, to. We, we've seen G1 through through three. They, th those rooms are mm -hmm. super fast with both enemies and, and pots. We've done Paradox Cave. It's gonna slow down a bit, at least. Oh, yeah. Plus, and we've already, all, you know, yeah, we all, found, we found Circle of Pots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we haven't been to Skull Woods, though. This is true. Skull Woods is uh, dense AF. In in uh, in Palo Alto and enemy drop. Okay, so we go to desert on gem side, and on the other side. Andy is just going to the dam, which I actually thought the others would as well. Yeah, it's very easy to get kind of sucked out of desert, um, you know, or yeah. to kind of go down a a rabbit trail, so to speak. But Jim and Telethar, you know, kind of almost co-oping it, you could say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> doing doing the opposite sides, you yeah. know, but just. Unfortunately, not going to get any information passed back and forth. They will not. We do, and we're going to have to get them. And so Andy pulling the dam. He is going to choose the desert right. It's actually that Andy went here. With the mitts, he can just take the normal route up to Skull Woods, and Skull Woods is gigantic here. Uh, I think if I if I had Andy's loadout here, I would go straight to Skull. Yeah, his loadout's really good for that, you know, because it, it's quick. Uh, yeah. It's not it's not a large time investment, you know, like say with like just a regular glove and a hammer, mm -hmm. per se. And like, it's, it's pretty much the only overworld traversal that you might have to do mm -hmm. which was like the intent of the mode from the beginning to to just cut down on the what gem call it anyway the boring overworld traversal and just yeah focus all on dungeons um but you might need to get to skullwood somehow sometimes so somehow some way nice desert big key in desert you love to see it All three runners basically a couple rooms apart at this stage. And yeah, they they start with the red boomerang because there are there are enemies in the game that you can like their items are only, is only reachable via some kind of projectile that returns to you. And the red boomerang is just the it's versatile, but it also doesn't open any logical checks. So it's not like you start with checks open because of it. right. There's nothing, there's no worse feeling than like finding the TR hub and you kill an enemy and your moon pearl is just floating out in the void yeah, and you don't yeah. have something to grab it with. <laughs> could you start with the boots? You could. Oh man, though. I think people would hate that. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, rightfully. All right, so we are going to get the back of Fishbone Room, just 10 arrows in that final pot. Jim going to mirror out. We'll see where his next play is going to be. Maybe going left desert if he hasn't already. Uh, no, rather the dam. Dam, dam into left desert, yeah. Yeah. Andy is using what, in my opinion, is the perfect MSU for, for doors, by the way. Uh, tunic. It's it's just so it's up chill here. and 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 uh, like the, it's the relaxing. Ambience, it's relaxing, and the ambiance it makes just suits doors so well, where you just wander through dungeons, lost in a way. I love it. This is where Solsky, as he's asking, you know what else is relaxing? He's going to say tunic rando. 
and it might be relaxing, but man, I I, I don't even know that game well enough to, to play a rando. Thing. I was gonna guess that he would say SM map rando, but I also know that they played Tunic. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Oh God, no, no, okay. All right, well, we're not gonna do that, Solsky. Not, not today. Did we just find uh, the vanilla big key chest uh, room, I guess, here in desert Ooh. for yep. desert. So, you know, going to get one more Triforce piece out of that. And Telethon Gem are saving and quitting out of Link's house. They have done pretty much the exact same checks. They really have. They're both yeah. at 71. You know, there's 25 rupees difference. That's it's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit. Shouldn't matter, though. 59 checks here in Palace of Darkness with the enemy's pots and chests. So 59 50, only? That's kind of low. Yeah, like... Mm. Especially with this lobby. But we're going into uh, Desert Main here on Andy's side. Uh, did we see this? We did not, because it's in CAC. Ah, okay. So they haven't done this yet. But I see old good old red and blue circle or uh, square of horror. Uh, we uh, we have a boss as well as some enemies around. It's time to figure out if we're going to actually beat this or not. Right. We don't. Well, the pyramid is closed. Is it? It's it's closed. Because okay, so the, 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 the song yeah, yeah. says it is. <laughs> and as we all know, songs never lie. They uh, never do, so, just so like the internet. <laughs> so, okay, so we need to beat Agat 2, uh, and we need our Triforce pieces. Mm -hmm. That's what I assume anyway. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh. A big chest in desert, and we have the big kick. And, oh my god. Ooh, the flute. 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 Pre-activated flute. <laughs> so does that, I mean, honestly, does that really do a whole lot? Like, I feel like it doesn't. Um, no, because they've already been to Meyer. Yeah, like, so there's, there's like, zero point of having it. Uh, you know, I guess unless you accidentally, like, kill Aga too early and you need to mirror away. <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't hate it. Like that play, I've done in only doors. Like killing mm -hmm. Agatha to, to get to the top of the castle with a mirror, for example, so you can do paradox. But in this case, they've already been up there. They've already been to Meyer. The flute doesn't really do that much, no. Well, two big keys here uh, in this swamp room uh, for Andy. Going to be GT and Eastern Palace. 108 out of 130 for Desert right now for him. Uh, 37 of 59 and 24 of 59 for Jim and Telethar for Palace of Darkness. So they're doing pretty good work here. I saw the red square. Like, at some point, they are going to be able to just beat the boss. Probably not going to have to do a whole lot of that today, but, you know, it's available. Jim is finding uh, TR tile room and just says, nope, not doing that. Going to be fun when he last locates whatever's there later. Yeah, I mean, that's a never, it's never anything, right, Humbug? We don't ever have to worry about I that have, one pot. I have never had anything there. I think I did in a multi, and I was sad. Because <laughs> it wasn't even mine. It, it, it would be a, so, sort of a dream, I, I think, to actually have something there. But no. Ooh, that was a nice bomb from Gem to get both, both those skulls at the same time. Like it. Yeah, it was pretty solid. Uh, good strats here, conserving resources. Andy <laughs> missing the bird. He's upset. He's upset. -y. He about missed it again there with that rock hitting him. <laughs> not sure what, why he even flew it. All right, so... Is this the... no. Well, uh, well, I guess we're going to kill the enemies in here and then we're going to have to bail out and go to the boss. Nothing uh, available for us to go forward yet. No small keys. 
Uh, lots of pots here in Skull Woods here for Jim and Telethar. So their Triforce count is going to inflate just a bit. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy opting not to kill those guys. Uh, I don't think that's in logic to do. They could I, be in a different dungeon, technically. Yeah, and I don't think those will drop anything if you kill them from a different dungeon. Oh, actually, they've I, changed I actually, that. I think so. That might be me dreaming, uh, but some something tells me that <laughs> nice jump. Uh, <laughs> something tells me that Muffins uh, told me at some point that if you if you kill those from a from a different dungeon. Mm -hmm. um, you don't get anything. You, you don't get anything because you're not in that dungeon, which is just an awesome, uh, awesome change, honestly. I, I, I'm I'm all for it. Yeah. All right. So Andy with a crystal means absolutely nothing um, in this mode, but it's another check. Jim, jump, bomb, jump over. What's really fun? Oh, good lord! Okay, I didn't know you could actually spin like that. That's that is new strats to me. So I, I have learned something for shenanigans. Til. <laughs> Are we gonna be unstoppable in shenanigans after this? Oh, I know. Like I get just powering up here, but. <laughs> All right, who's gonna be the first 100? Telethar is in the lead. He has 95, and the others have 90. But Jim is in. Uh... Jim's probably going to get it here. It depends yeah. if uh, if Telethar can get back to that area quick enough. And maybe he already did this one. That might be why he's a 95. That's a good point. Yeah, Telethar is in the lead. with this fire rod is going to make such short work of these rooms. Mm hmm. And yeah. he's also going to be able to actually get to the, um, like get get the red berries. Well, both Jim and Telethar at ninety seven, and I know there's at least a couple here. So it looks like Jim, or excuse me, Telethar probably win in this race mm -hmm. to the first checkpoint of one hundred. Doing pretty good too. Only two bonks, as we see on his cam. Stonks tracker, pretty good for extra info like that. Stonks tracker, best tracker. So, okay. How many... Nice hand. How Ooh. many uh, checks were there in GT? Do you remember? I do not. Because, like, this this mode where it's a Ganon hunt, like, how many pieces are you comfortable with when you go to GT on your way to kill Gan? Like, how many pieces are you expecting to find on the way to Aga 2? Man, that's a really good question. It kind of probably depends how many, how many times you've, like, dove Been, into GT right. already. Yeah, and how, how much you actually know of the dungeon layout when, when, when it's that late. And probably they know pretty much a lot, like, all of the dungeon layout at that point. But mm -hmm. it's tricky. Like, when do you actually go there? The real strat is just to never go there. <laughs> Find and a different there, but... way to Ganon. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Small Gate of Thieves there for Andy. Flute now here for Telethar. Deeper here into Desert Palace. Telethar also wisely chooses to kill all the enemies before opening the big chest because he doesn't want to deal with the floating skulls while killing the enemies. That's clever. Yeah, Meyer Big there in Tower of Hera. 
Andy doing a good job there of making sure not to knock the guard off the ledge. Very easy to do in that one tile walkway. But that that Hera though, Humbug, 191, that is that's pretty pretty large and in charge. It's it's uh, it's large indeed. Uh it usually what happens in Hera in in this mode where you have pretty much all of the rooms but the but Hera basement actually forced into Hera and all of those rooms has so many pots. Oh yeah. Uh, so many pots in Hera. So this pretty much always happens and the same thing goes with Skullwoods with so many required vanilla rooms that has such a huge number of pots. Well, we did get a Swamp Small. Andy kind of turned his nose up at it. <laughs> I don't know if he was excited. He can't use it. Yeah, it's just a, another item for now. Yeah. Uh, Jim looking pretty stoic right now. As Telephone far as look, looking playing. his normal self. Yeah, he's a little orange right now, but maybe, maybe that color will change on his face just a little bit. Yeah, he had a lot of carrots for lunch true has he had lunch he hasn't had lunch yet never mind you don't worry. i don't know as long as this takes i might would have ate lunch beforehand oh there's our lamp, lamp. humbug Whoa. so now andy's back in logic so yes. now these other guys like like you see telethar he's in here this is going to push them maybe to those dark rooms when do they go back that's a good question i mean you're going to run out of things eventually so you're going to have to backtrack a decent bit here. Can I get a boss kill? We've seen, yeah, Andy has done land mo as well. So this is not the first boss kill, but the others seem content with never killing a boss, which is a, a fine strat here since we we uh, we don't need to kill any bosses apart from the ones that have progression and the ones that have that lead us to cannon. Oh, that's fun, Jim. That's somewhat. That's fun. very unfortunate when you knock the enemy back there. But uh, Telethar are gonna also be fighting Moldorm. Mm -hmm. we'll throw four. And he is not going to pick that crystal up. He's gonna drop down and begin. Taking care of these enemies. Andy went back in. Now that is definitely one Triforce speed. Well, no, he got it. Never mind. Um, Telethar being he in that case. He did yep. get that Triforce piece, just not the crystal. So saving on the time on the fanfare and the retravel. However, but, he wants the switch hit. Mm-hmm. And Andy is coming in here with that. It's it's really cool seeing like how players have evolved to using the boomerang to get so yeah. many items in modes like this. So cool. Well, like not nothing even remotely like this was possible. What? Mm -hmm. Three years ago. No, well, three years ago, definitely not possible. Um, I want to say the enemy drop stuff. You know, still fairly new. Well, that's like a year old. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like last summer. Maybe even last fall. I, it's, I mean, it's what new, will we get for summer anyway. vacation this year? You know? <laughs> well, mine already started. I mean, so did I think mine, uh, oh, but I, I don't I don't get it. But I, I don't get a summer vacation. I wish I did. Nice oh. full magic there in oh. the... <laughs> <laughs> in the chest. It still throws me off every single time seeing like a full magic or small magic come out of a chest. Yeah. And for for a while, it wasn't possible for big magic to come out of the chest, only a small magic. Unsure why it was. Yeah, I don't know, but we've upgraded. We, we've upgraded. We've evolved from that. Praise Muffins and Aaronon and all the other devs. Yeah, doing this. work. So current check-in, Telethar with 137. And 123 apiece for Andy. Make it 124, Andy. 123, Jim. So basically what's going to happen with this race, whoever wins, the other two 
as uh, it's kind of mentioned up in the top right, they're going to get a strike. Jim already has a strike. So if Jim loses this or gets second or third, he is out. And then it will be a finals of Telethar and Andy. If Jim wins, then everyone else gets a strike. So it'll be another three-way race for grand finals. And it'll just be the winner take all. I wonder what we want. I, I want, I kind of want Jim to win this one. Mm, and that way we, we get another three-way race, you know, just for more chaos. Yeah. Because this is this is really, really cool to have a to have a doors race like this. Mm-hmm. I need to flick the switch. No, Telethar, unfortunately. He took a fall. He took a fall there, and there were some Triforce pieces in there. So it's not like we could say, let's just write it off and not do it. We got to go back. Oh, yep. oh, no. Did he just knock that one? Yep, he has to go back again. God, oh, it hurts. It really does. Uh, at least he has to go back to whatever it drops. Mm hmm. Oh, he got that one already, according to chat. Okay, we're good. Oh. Super tile was why the, the blue square was still flashing. Yep. yep. Well, everyone has the moon pearl. Everyone has their flute. But Andy has a fire rod and the mitts. It's true. But we'll see where these guys go once they bail out of Hera. That'll kind of be the telltale for how long it's going to be before Jim and Telethar maybe get their uh, mitts, or rather glove and fire rod, which lead to the mitts. Oh, and they found bombos as well. Because if the others find bombos and somehow manage to, to not find fire rod, they might still be good with the enemy kills. Since you need ah, fire yes. rod or bombos for the red berries. Um, and there are some. Not There aren't that many. There are like ice in particular has a couple and skull woods has a couple but they might actually have progression so we're getting some word in chat that that was also in gt apparently so gt's got the goodies oh, Lord, okay i did not see that uh medallion pickup at all we've been in hera for a really long time but Again, when it's when it's huge, it's thick. There's a whole lot you can do. Oh, of course, there's another key door right behind the key door. So we're just going to have to go to the left instead. This is going to be four item checks here. Getting to fight all these red guys. Andy about to knock them off. I, I would have just, bom just bomb boast them. Get it over with. Jim's still cleaning up some here in Hera. He'll be getting his lamp real soon. And fighting Moldorm, most likely. Yep. Lamp is just such a blessing. Especially in, in Puddle Lodo and, and Enemy Drop, where it's not just that you, you can autopilot to, to the chest in the dark room. You just need to find everything that moves, and it moves with RNG, so it just sucks. Yeah. It's never the lamp fun. Oh, so good. Can we get a nine item? Can we just like get the full like layer removed and <laughs> <laughs> just for doors? That'd be great. Or for uh, enemy drop, that'd be phenomenal. Oh yes. Health are finally getting back to all the pots here in Tower of Hera. Still with a little bit of a lead here as far as the Triforce counter goes. Andy finding a Triforce piece as well as a small key to Desert here in Hera. A little further down. Yeah, Desert small key. I know we got locked by one of them at some point. Yeah. So nice to have that. Three items coming here with the Ice Palace Vanilla Big Key room. He's been on the other side of this. He he is somewhat happy that he found found that side and can just mm -hmm. write, write it off. But I guess the thought there was: Do I? Was there anything on the other side of it all that I didn't do? Yeah. He so goes he's straight back into, into yeah this into, yeah. Oh, and That's, of course another one. <laughs> and this is just one chest. 
so yeah sad. we cannot kill those chain chomps as much as you would probably like to mm -hmm. well, small key to thieves I though would have been great if that was desert small <laughs> yeah that would be very clutch it would just lead to another key door though is <laughs> the way luck would have it yep bombos we bombos everything on any side what does the red berry drop it does have a small key but a nice use of a red boobering gonna give us that hair a small Jim having a laugh about the rooms he's currently in, but a visit back to Eastern Palace for Telethar, or rather to Eastern Palace. This is a first trip for him. And is mega confused here. Like, what does he do? This time he succeeds in opening the wall, at least. Opening does walls, that... very important. Does that kill this thing? It does. Okay, I didn't. Think I think it Fire Rod does not. Yeah. But Bombos does. Bombos just too OP. Bombos also luckily kills that uh, mini Helma up here. Not the mini Helma, the the, the blue uh, beetle. Mm -hmm. Cause that that guy sucks. Cause if yeah, he just, just falls in a pit because he's stupid. Uh. Free time. <laughs> he is really stupid. Uh, when's uh when's the only doors mentor tournament humbug do we know oh, like, <laughs> oh, i would love to be a mentee in that mm. <laughs> i mean you you, 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 you have uh i have the power have, you have the power make it happen oh uh, man I mean, i'm busy for the rest of my life you would be yeah the 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 doors beginners turning was really uh, good, yes. That happened. Was so good. Like, app apparently people just loved it. Uh, and, and the fact that the, we can actually play doors with different difficulty. And it's actually different difficulty. Like, if you if you try to do that with entrance, it's not going to work. Yeah, like, that's if you, true. If, if, if you play, like, I don't know, restricted entrance or simple entrance or whatever, it's not going to be easier than crossed entrance for, some, yeah. for whatever reason uh it's just going to be more convoluted but but here it actually works because because you know what rooms you're gonna potentially find in, in the dungeons you're in is there a spoiler run planned for this not to my knowledge i think some people may do some spoiler of this usually not but we do have blindsight here. That is back in Skullwoods area. That fire rod coming in clutch. How many will we find? There's always that chance that Jim and Telethar don't even have to come here. That's two Triforce pieces. We do have a bunch of pots in the back. This is somewhat more lucrative in, in pots than normal. Get three pieces here. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna pull us up to five, maybe six. Yes, count it. All so right. that's six entire ones uh, out of that. You know, they could still skip this. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad considering there's the 469. You've got a 49 piece leeway. Good telethar. He was going for it. I respect. Oh, he got it. <laughs> he got it. It's a key door. <laughs> no. He got bomb spooky and oh my that god it was for nothing <laughs> i was the best what just check the door first bro so if you guys don't know what really just happened there on telethar's screen there's one frame i believe that yes. when the bomb is bouncing in the air it has like the the spooky ancilla where it can hit things way up in the air uh on the screen or higher up and that's yep. he basically got a frame perfect trick there uh, and you know, a lot, a lot of people go for it. Not many people ever hit it. So very exciting to see him get that and then get completely let down by that key door. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right. Jim has actually not taken the lead in Triforce pieces. Yep. The 162, but you see where Telethar is. He's got Telethar. bomb doors. Telethar is going to get stuff here. 
He's gonna get the goodies. There's a fire rod, and then as soon as he walks around, he's gonna pick that glove up. Mm -hmm. The glove is important for... Traversal getting your through, mitts. <laughs> getting your mitts, first of all, but also for traversal through Thieves Town, because that might actually be required to get through the... All true. In the basement. And also to get to the ice boss, but don't, do we really care about the ice boss? Well, I mean, we do care about that room because, you know, there's what? Uh, four enemies yeah. under oh, the other rock? Man, we have the other side of the room as, has a block as well. I mm -hmm. forget. Good point. And he gets the unfortunate news that the pot room over here uh, is locked by a small key. You hate to see it. I hate to see it. No hammer to flip these guys over in the middle, so we're not even going to worry about that. Yeah, that also doesn't... That's not necessarily in this dungeon, is it? Maybe. I mean, it could be in it the dungeon, but it doesn't... It doesn't require... It's not required to be. No. All right. Chem is also back in GT and is getting his good stuff here. All the goodies. Following the lamp. Turns out to be a good call. Another big key here in ice for Andy, and it's for ice in the laugh because he just had a big key door that he just walked away <laughs> from uh, the frustration. Yeah. I love Rando. That's why people love watching Rando, just because they get yes. to see people be so upsetting. And there's another big key door. Oh, it's the one. It's the one he left! <laughs> oh, fantastic. This game sucks. <laughs> so, uh, Telethar here in the pod hub. Oh, he managed to find his way here. They only, they, like, all three of them found this from the right side, but with the pegs flipped the way. Ah, flipped, and that's, that's the... the Wait, no, that was a... Was that, was that the GT pick? Was that, was that a small key to GT? That had to no, be a small key. Wait a minute, because we got the big key to GT in the swamp main room. But Andy, I mean, chat pointing out, Andy got a tempered sword down here in the Hera basement oh, in Ice Palace. That's good. Okay, uh, favorite guessing game of, of doors. Is the door that Andy's going to find soon, is it a open a door? Key lock door? A key lock door, a bombable door, a bonkable door, or a big key door? Quick. Uh, it's it's a small key. Oh, it's just open. It's open. Okay. Well, the luck. <clears throat> the luck. There's the mitts. Jim laughing about it. Seeing him fall <laughs> on the floor. He'll go pick him up in just a minute. Yep. More Triforce pieces for Andy Telethar. Both. Both in new areas at the moment. Mitts for Jim. So Jim at 171, Andy 159, and Telethar 170 currently. He hasn't bonked since we last looked at him. He's, he's turned a little bit more healthy uh, uh, yellow here, which is, which is good. Yeah, it's... Um... Super easy to maybe not bonk as much when you don't have as much overworld traversal to do uh, in some instances. But all this, all these goodies that Andy's been finding, Jim, going to be getting them here real soon, I would say, just due to the fact he is here in Ice Palace, has that bombos and fire rod, so does have that access. Four red berries going down for Andy as he picks up a key to Eastern Palace. Four hearts. Uh, nice. <laughs> Are well they then, in the hard pack. Okay. Um, I think actually these guys would really love a uh, half magic right now. I would love half magic. Now, unless the hammer shows up, we're, we're here at uh, the boss room, probably coming downward, but we're not going to be able to beat it. Oh, we have a little more. 
adventure on our hands. This is also a room that gets promoted from nothing in a normal seat uh, to to everything. To like one thing in normal doors to a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> when you use enemy drop rando. Uh, it's really cool. Okay. Still an opportunity for Andy to actually get the hammer here. That would that would be kind of gross. Like it would be kind of gross. It'd be good for him, but I'd hate it. I'd hate to see it just because of how ugh, the whole yeah. thing would be. All right, not today. So 68 out of 84, almost nice. Not quite. Not quite. We're going where? Oh, we uh, we take another trip into Skull Woods, but another to entrance. That's that's clever. Mm. That's good. Randy, it's gonna get him a lot of pots. All right, Jim, going back down here in ice. Uh, Telethar going to be getting his mitts here very soon as he drops down into the back of Hyrule Castle. Okay. We have found back of Skull Woods, so a couple pots here as well as some enemies and a chest. So definitely a lucrative check. He's got one small key for uh, Andy does, but, you know, do you want to spend it right there? Uh, it, since, it, since we don't need to kill the bosses... I think we can be a little bit more frivolous with with our keys. With spending keys. Yeah, I think so. I think I would just spend it and just go for it, honestly. All right, let's see what Andy does. Humbug says go for it. It looks like Andy might be he's killing it. He's no, he's not going for it. Hmm. I mean, what do I know? I'm not top three in this, so. You top three in our hearts, humbug. It's blasting the bombos here. Uh, dual casting bombos, basically. Jim also gonna get his four hearts of four berry hearts or whatever. Uh, not really a reaction there out of Jim for that. Uh, I would have actually ex ex expected a little bit of a reaction, but no, he is his stoic self, as you described it earlier. Getting his CT small. There's another Triforce piece for Andy. Now, Telethar is in that uh, Skullwoods area as well. So the question will now be, will he go through the same yeah. he's got two so would make a little more sense there's a desert small so andy could go through chomps again if he chose to now telethar is, oh he thought about it no hesitated a bit there's a hook shot in skull with oh, andy oh. big nodders there for that yeah that opens up uh that was checks in thieves town i believe the swamp pub mm -hmm. i think it was in thieves yeah. town yeah, you mentioned there were so many pots and, uh, yeah. you know, other entrances or doors that we just can't get to without it. Uh, Andy going to use that. Uh, he's upset. He's upset. Yeah. But yeah. you're going to get three items here. Maybe maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. It's behind it, all, uh, the, all the spilled wood small key, so it's probably bad. Yeah, true. Yeah, not even a Triforce piece for his troubles, but... Takes a drop. Um, this is... The drop that you don't want to take. Right. That's That actually always leads to uh, to uh, useless fairy. It looks like one of our finalists doesn't even know that, so... <laughs> oh, that was that was a sick damage boost from Gem. Mm-hmm. Love, love to see it. All right, so we are going back into desert on Andy's side. So let's see a little further where those keys go. Telethar, meanwhile, going to be in that Skullwood's room to get a hook shot. Love to see that. Mm -hmm. Jim cleaning up more of ice. Going to be able to go and get at least two enemies here on Andy's screen, depending what the bottom door is. Uh, well, they're both shutter doors. It'll be fine. <laughs> I was... 
yeah, you mentioned the Castle Tower Small earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are absolutely worthless. Yes. Uh, since this Castle Tower has been uh, just forced into the GT entrance and we will never be able to go there anyway. Uh, so Castle Tower stuff is just worthless. Sometimes you find the Castle Tower big key. I'd have no idea what it will lead to. But that also <laughs> means that... Well, I... I actually think that Castle Tower is planned though to just contain like one or two rooms even. Mm. So it's not like that can just hold a bunch of stuff that you will never see. I think I'm pretty sure that it just has nothing in it. Right. Uh, Data pointing out in chat that this is the drop down that Andy should have gone into. Telethar being the yeah. one who is there. Uh, Going to be getting several maybe several Triforce pieces out of this. It does have a couple of opportunities with these pots. Uh, heart piece, kind of maybe a welcome find here. Is that going to actually, yes, it does refill him. Tempered also now for Jim. The game is now playable for him on the ultimate level. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Hookshot also allows them to go into Mire, actually. It does. That's a whole lot that you could potentially have available. I forgot what our item count was there. Andy, ooh, this is kind of oh, rough. Oh. He's gonna, rough. yeah, he's gonna have ice armos, but he's a half. Oh, okay, oh. gold sword. I was about to say he's a half heart short of having sword beams for this fight since no bow. He has burner though. Uh, oh yes. Oh, he gets a heart. Oh, he wow. gets a heart from the chest. Jesus. I guess that is uh, something that can happen. <laughs> yeah. So Telethar is just so powerful here. It is, and Telethar leaving out of Skull Woods now. Uh, had a hundred out of one hundred seventy-seven done. I'm going to be getting all his Triforce pieces out of Blind's Hut. A heart behind, two hearts actually, behind Ice Armos and a Triforce piece. 127 out of 191 here in Tower of Hera for Andy. Telethar back in the Swamp Pub in Hyrule. It wasn't Hyrule Castle. Uh, he gets an Ice mm. Pod. That's a mighty nice find. We, you know, there could be progression on Trinex at some point, I would assume. But, you know, it is only one check. Yeah. And also, Telethar has been very restrictive in boss kills, so odds are that he won't mm -hmm. try to before he finds him. Finds him. So we did find uh, the big key to Hyrule Castle at some point, utilizing that now. And Telethar are going to get a couple extra Triforce pieces and uh, be able to take down this room with the five enemies. So a little bit more of a discrepancy now between the runners, Jim and Telethar, both 193, 194 respectively, and a 20 Triforce piece gap now down to 172 for Andy. I'm not sure what made this. Like, how come Andy fell behind? His... his been falling behind like progressively a little bit um yeah i mean he's he's had some hesitation moments of like deciding what he wants to do he's also had chicken. nice chicken <laughs> uh yeah, he's also had some nice chicken um so you know really? had yeah. a double down Uh, but yeah, like it it might just be that he will go back to the to the dense spots that that Gem and Telethar has been to. Uh, mm -hmm. We will see though. This is largely a game of both efficiency and thoroughness. Like you have to be thorough since your progression can be literally anywhere. Oh, a mirror here for Andy Hello. in the Tower of Hera. Does that really do anything though? Besides, like you know, get us out of dungeons. That gets us uh, Mini Moldorn Cave, but they have... Have they been to Mini? They have. Uh, oh, Andy that, has. Yeah. Andy popped out of there at some point. I think All the right. others have too. Never mind. Uh, then it doesn't 
really do anything, no. All right. All right, well. We're, that's exciting. Uh, well, we found our cracked floor room here. We got a hint about it. Yep. In here. Okay, Ooh, that's flippers. just more. That All is, right. Oh, yeah, Andy's, Andy's face right now is like, what the heck? <laughs> it's gigapog time here yeah, for Andy. He's yeah. like, all right, I guess we're going to swamp soon. Uh, back into, oh, we, not back into, but we're getting a first look at Meyer here on Telethar's side. 144 items. Would you find a rando room in the uh, the room shuffle here? Rando, rando room with only six checks. Oh, yeah. and he gets the... Uh, B keys. Off. B keys? <laughs> yeah, I B keys. It. It's, uh, that's a lot of keys. Yeah. So if you if you guys are new, you've never seen a letter number of keys it's it's how hexadecimal works uh how the game reads it so that means it's nine a bow here for andy so it's nine plus what two more so it goes from nine to a and then b so there's 11 keys yeah yeah this is where you learn to count in hexadecimals unless you did that in college i guess counting with only doors kind of like the <laughs> msg pack counting with cross product <laughs> Does he count in hexadecimals though? No, but we we uh, uh, maybe, maybe I'll like send him a message and ask him to do like record that as some alternate tracks for us. That would be that would be great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is so many parts for 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 Andy here. Oh, he does not. Oh, he's he's smash. I'd be smash yeah. too, dude. Oh, he's got two pots oh. here. There's a chance a key shows up. <laughs> Unfortunate. No. All right, that's okay. He's gonna go back, right? Because it's a Meyer hub, I believe. Mhm. Mm yeah, and luckily we have every last one of our swords, so we can just walk right on through that that good old curtain. So that is. I'm not sure how, like, what what door Andy found uh, the the Meyer hub through, but it's possible that we can just get to the last of the Skull Woods rooms that he was locked out of, uh, and uh, yeah. by going through one of these doors, like upwards. But apparently, he just yeah, he just exited out of the last. We door. did see the one to the left of this is a big key lock door, so he is going to yep. be stuck there. Uh, maybe this is the time he dives swamp. Let's see where Telethar's headed. Is this the ice play? It is. So he'll get a lot of information here. Meyer dive now for Jim. He also has two out of B. It's just, he has his boots right now. But yeah, I think, I think actually Andy only has the Hera big chest and that, uh, Skull Woods room left in here. Because mm. uh, he had 14 checks left and can't be much more than 13, like right. much less than 13 checks in that room, right? Oh, dude, that's so unfortunate. Like, oh my God, we're hard locked by Samaria. Yeah, imagine just thinking that you could just do a whole lot in a dungeon and then you just see that. You can't even hover it if you wanted to. Nope. But uh, he is going to go back into Thieves. You know, he did put... I forgot he put all of this off. That could be a little bit of the discrepancy. I remember there being a decent chunk of of Triforce pieces here. Not a whole lot, though. He never went in here. Okay, well, yeah, that, that actually explains... A little bit. A little bit of the difference, yeah. So apparently we're also... I see in chat that Andy did get a hint earlier about Kane actually being in Tower of Hera. So if that's true then you know he's probably gonna want that big key sooner than later or small key oh true yes and he's at three right now i think he's at three out of five yeah but yeah those pickups in hera might actually be required to get the cane in hera later true like he very true first he got the bow the mirror doesn't really do anything, but he can he can at least do way more now than he couldn't before. Yeah, Andy going to be heading to Meyer now. 
Uh, Telethar, 19 out of 84 for his Ice Palace venture. But he is up to 209, still in the lead by three over Jim with 206. Andy now catching up a decent bit at 196. Still a lot of game left to play. Skull Woods, there it is on Jim's screen. That's yeah, that game. It wasn't Skull Woods, yeah. And uh, can I just say that Jim uh, went through the, the door that I wanted Andy to go through? Because uh, that's how he got his king. Ooh, and there's the oh, other no. bow. Oh my, okay. Hmm. All right, so Jim's in a really good spot by getting yeah, that, honestly. Yeah, that's that's huge. Like that when when he goes back to Hera and get his flippers, it will lock it will unlock all of Meyer for him. Uh all of Swamp for him. Yeah, like from our bird's eye view of all three, Jim yeah. Jim's probably like for the long game set up real nice right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a long game. Oh, Jim is actually past halfway now. Uh Tedathar is exactly halfway. Yeah, Jim taking a little bit of a lead here as far as the counter goes. Oh boy. You could say that the lead in this could be a bit swingy, like swords, at times, back and forth. I'll see myself anyone, out. Anyone else want to jump in for me on comms here? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you just handle it from here, Humbug, you know? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Jem is, uh, Jem is cruising right now. Oh, and I say that as he gets locked up. <laughs> hammer. Unfortunate. Hammer here? No. So many places that the hammer could just show up, uh, but yeah. Jim mirroring, heading back in. I was about to say, oh, Jim's going to go get his cane in that spot, but he's, he's the one who's already done this. Andy is back in Skull Woods. He's going to get his, uh, Samaria here. Yep. Here he goes. All right, I, I'm expecting a head shake out of this. Like he's gonna be a little, like God, I could have had this. Oh no, he's getting well, we're getting some nodders. Nice, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's of all things, that's, that's what gets the head shake. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's the nopers. Um, Jim here. Not sure how he got to here. I guess we'll maybe see this on Andy's screen, but gonna get a couple Triforce pieces here, but locked out by Hammer and Skull Woods. But a lot of Skull Woods done now for Jim. Telethar down in the Ice Palace pre boss room. Yet again, all the runners have come here, but no Hammer to get to the boss or those last two pots down there that are kind of living their best life all by themselves. And Jim who doesn't have the flippers takes the cane to the place that he know uh that he knows actually gets mm -hmm. a lot of the cane uh, which is a rock so like now I, now the question begs like is jim in a really good spot like does he need those flippers i mean he could definitely get progression here what just happened there on his screen that was the weirdest spooky action i've ever seen but he gets a mushroom for it another yeah. skull wood small so Good question. I am unsure whether or not he is in a good spot because going back into Hera, you really don't want to go back into Hera. Like Hera is such, a, yeah. is such a tough dungeon to go back to. Like you, you would prefer to full specifically Hera. You would prefer to full clear on your first trip since it has so many interlocking doors. Yeah, uh, and it's just so rough to find your way back through that if you don't remember the exact layout, which is really tricky. So we'll see. Oh. Well, we are diver downing. We do have Dang. a bow, so he is going to be able to kill the red Igor if he gets out of the way, dude. But Tempered Sword now for Telethar as well. Two pots up here, not going to be anything of value. Jim deciding to leave the switch on blue. Not sure if he has something in mind. He hasn't seen the dungeon, but he does get his favorite item and he didn't crack a smile. I guess when you start with pseudo boots, the boots mm -hmm. aren't aren't as pog as as normal. Yeah. And as Worf mentions in chat, Andy has now caught up. 
in Triforce pieces. Definitely has. He's tied with Telethar. Actually taking no, it's still tied. Uh, Jim with the. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been really interesting to watch. You kind of just get yeah. to see everything unfold like this. Yeah. He falls down the toilet. Love to see Again. it. Again. No, he made he was, it. <laughs> he was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take in more than one dip into the toilet. I mean, I know, I know GDQs this week, but I didn't think he would be cosplaying as himself, uh, running into the toilet here, mid run. <laughs> Is Telethar doing? He's doing it. Come on, for once. All right, is this going to be progression here? Is this going to be the goods? <laughs> Come I mean, on. does okay, okay. Clarification: Does a Triforce piece count as progression? No. Okay. I I'm wanted to know how your opinion. You're thinking of hammer, okay? Yes. Because <laughs> there's so many Triforce pieces, like skipping one here is not going to be a big deal. It's but... not gonna be a big deal. <laughs> but a skipping a hammer here, then yes, that's a very big that's deal. It, that's huge. <laughs> it's a uh, well, okay. Some people, uh, some people yeah. in chat are going to be like, "All right, well, that's progression." So you know, good, good. You're technically correct. The best kind of correct, <laughs> but kind of correct, yes. but it's not the hammer. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll have to wait. Wait, wait. A little bit longer until that is actual progression. Uh, I spy Telethar back in at Hera. Ooh, so he might be getting his flippers thing? before yeah. his uh, his cane. Similar to what Andy did. More gauntlet rooms here for Jim. Oh, he went through the door. He can get back to that Triforce piece, though. Yeah. I'll have to kill the enemy again, but yeah. Not sure what Andy picked up there. Besides that crystal. Oh, no. It was it was still a Triforce piece. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I didn't see what, what the item was either. And by the look on his tracker, it doesn't... It wasn't really... That was an awful long, like black screen between like transition i thought the game crashed <laughs> huh yeah, i guess i guess doors sometimes does that oh gem finds a gig uh annoying room to find when you don't have the flippers mm -hmm. the felt, felt swim way in swamp yeah mm -hmm. you never want to see it until you have flippers yeah and the man. keys that inevitably are going to be required you know of course of course yes Yeah, we have seen this where Andy is now. We've seen this on Jim and Telethar's screen. A lot of like backtracking right now. Jim probably the uh, the runner doing the the stuff that's the newest. It will say, yes, a hot and fresh content. <laughs> uh, and I get four more items here in Mimics two. All the trouble. Okay. Yeah, up to 234, 226 here for Telethar, 229. Andy. All right, confirmation in chat. There was only a small magic on that ball, so that's that's why we didn't see anything really happen. Because tiny. You know, this desert map room that Jim's in, this is a room that's normally very just, ugh, it's a huge room, one chest. Yeah. But pots and enemies, real good. This is uh, nice. Yeah, Andy gonna go and do the uh, TR room now. Mm -hmm. No, Andy, just stand in the doorway, bro. Take a break. You can just stand in the door. If you don't move into the room, the mm -hmm. the the tiles won't hit you, and you can, if you time it well, you can dash through the last tile just as it starts moving, and and you'll be fast. He just wants to play the game. He just wants to play. The game. 10 arrows there in that TR compass room for Jim. Back into Meyer. 66 out of 144. Lots of checks left. 80 
74 be uh, no 74 i can't math 78 that's it i'll get there eventually <laughs> telethar is uh on his way to his flippers and yes but his mirror is gonna be here yeah flippers mirror there was something else wasn't it uh i mean the thieves town attic oh yeah 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 good thieves town attic And you get to find the pin gator room. Very valuable room here in enemy drop and uh, so on. But going to be four Triforce pieces. That's a pretty hefty yep. amount. As well as a small key. Where's that small key going to lead to, though? Here, probably. Yeah. Ooh, for Meyer. Out of our one, B one, keys, one. adding one to the, the pile. Right, Telethar is gonna find his flippers. Yeah, it's gonna be good for Telethar here. Gonna bomb this open as well. Andy back into swamp now with that cane. So more new checks on like literally two screens at the same time. This is what you love to see. Make it be a little chaotic. You know, I realized one thing that the mirror actually unlocks. All right, enlighten me. Uh, hype cane. Ooh, that's true. That's up at Mimic Cave, right? Yeah, but the Hype Cave sucks. It only has five checks. True. It's not as exciting it, as it has been in the past. It's not, but but at least it unlocks something, the mirror. <laughs> and, but it, I, I realized that because I thought to myself that I, I like what Andy's doing here, that he's taking Swamp before TR. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he, he knows that this is locked behind two items that he has, and Turtle Rock might just be a dumb maze, which is probably is. Oh, we have the double Thieves Town. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you love but hate to see this. Like, yeah. good lord. Yeah. This is awesome. When I'm not playing. Yes. It's really aggravating when you are playing, just like, oh, okay, yeah. like, when, 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 where are these little blobs in the floor? I just need, like, I need a map. Let the compass show me that. Here's one. No? Okay. Uh, <laughs> just run I, around. Look, wait for a dot to appear. I think I know, but yet I don't. Those are the only two I know that are, like, there yeah. for sure. Because they are the reason why that chest is called the ambush chest. Mm-hmm. There's one up there, yeah. Oh, Telethor made it to this room. I'm not sure if he... Ah, he had an extra key. Yeah, he had he had an extra key. So Pod Small, uh, he got a few Triforce pieces from what I saw. There's a Swamp Small as well. Maybe he goes to Swamp and gets the bad news here shortly. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, here, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> good, good call, good call. <clears throat> Jim doing one of the most awful rooms in the game just because it's so much work for so little. Yep. So 130 items total here in Swamp Palace as we see Telethar mirroring out after four due to no cane. Uh, Andy up to 36. Right now, um, still a very close race, obviously. Uh, 253 for Jim and 248 or 249. There's a hammer, hammer? for Andy in Swamp. Oh my, okay. That is uh, what they call huge. Hammer right. down. Hammer down. I guess the pressure here is actually on Jem. Like he needs, he needs to win to stay alive. Yeah, like Telethar and Andy both have a buffer. Like, yeah. you know, as long as they don't lose two games in a row, they're fine. What's but... really weird about this format, though, is like, you know, say Andy or Telethar win, and then the opposite one wins game two or the finals, then it, it, you know, they play again because <laughs> you got to have what two. Well, you, uh... you actually got to have two strikes. That's uh huh. 
Yeah, it's kind of like double elimination, but not a bracket. Which makes it fun. It makes it novel. I, I really like it. It's it's cool. We, we, we never do this. Yeah. So uh, a question in chat, is the hammer hard required? I mean, most likely there's going to be some hammer things. You know, we've seen uh, a couple pots behind the hammer, um, you know, locked by the hammer. But like, we don't have to fight every boss. Uh, it, it's a big unknown. It just really depends if there's major progression, uh, you know, behind it. I would also say that Andy actually finds that no, he he did find the annoying ice room with the with the pegs, like the H room and ice. Mm -hmm. uh, but Hammer unlocks the well. That's the biggest. Ah, thing. yes, I forgot that. Over uh, See, I wouldn't even be going there because I just you know. Yeah, th not that's... thinking about it. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, you, you know, yeah. you mentioned half magic earlier. We, we we found that apparently. I I like Jim and Andy both I saw it, but I don't remember where it was. Ah, uh, Jim is approaching Vitreus. Will he kill Vitreus though? I feel like you do. This is a pretty long yeah. journey to here. Yes, I think you do. Gem needs to go to School Woods to get his flippers. No, to Hera to get his flippers. Yes. Yes. Well, may maybe not needs, who knows, but pre probably needs to, if he wants to keep up, he, he wants to keep up the tempo that the other ones are going to be able to keep mm -hmm. uh, regarding Triforce pieces. Especially since the flipper hard locks the hammer. Yeah, so a little further here in Thieves now for Jim. This is going to be new, but we are hitting a dead end here on Telethar's side. But he's going to have, you know, a tri at least one, two Triforce pieces for his trouble. We got the Swamp, uh, or a big room here in Swamp. That's going to lead to the TR hub. Andy going to forego that for now. Thieves Town here, bottom left of your screen. Jim finding the area where we could go to... The big chest, if we had a hammer, if only we could thank Solsky. And OK, so, I mean, you could say, yeah, hammer required. There's a Triforce piece behind it there. You know, there's enough duplicates, though, so. Yeah, it should be. Like, there are, what, 49 extra? Yes. That we don't need to pick up Yeah. 49 a, isn't either. that many, though. Yeah, it could like, definitely. You, you can have 49 behind the hammer, like, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Can Trying to figure out how Telethar 49. got to where he is currently. No idea. He's in GT. Yeah, he's back oh, in GT. There's... Maybe he's spending some keys. That's the hair a big key for Jim. Ooh, that is okay. That, that might be incentive for him to go back to Hera to finally get his flippers. We do have that swamp big. Yeah. Another smoky door. Yep. Sure is. Do we open it? Andy's not doing it. That would have been three items guaranteed. Yeah. And he knows where the boss is. But the question is, like, how much else is left? Less than 40 to go, 39 to be exact. But. Jim gets a TR big as well in Thieves Town. Yeah, Thieves Town has the goodies. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like maybe that's where Andy's going to go next. You know, just based off of, like, you know, chase the cane type scenario. Yeah. Like he, he he knows that the cane, he 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 could have gotten it earlier, but at least right. he got it eventually, uh, using a small key correctly. Uh, so he might actually do want to chase it. I'm not sure if he goes back to. Th he barely he's barely been in Thieves Town. Yeah, he really hasn't done much there. Jim, speaking of Thieves Town, is there, has a couple of Thieves Town rooms to make it even feel more at home. Jim up to 272 in the lead currently. Oh, Andy, like, 
getting by that key door oh, here. Oh, sick. Huge. So he saves a key in, in the swamp. That is big. Well played. And it's kind of rolling the dice just a little bit, and it, it pans out. Make use of the red boomerang. Or the hook shot, I guess. Telethar going to the two for two? Is he going for the two for two? No, he spent the key there, so now he's gonna have to spend another key, or both keys rather. Because not only did it, was there a key to the top, but there was one to the right as well. Yeah, that's rough. Key to skull. Oh, there okay. were like a couple of big key doors in Skullwoods, I think. Right. There were. So that might open up large portion of that dungeon. And as we've seen, that dungeon has a lot of pots. It does. Okay, so boss here for Andy. Yeah, this will put him at 106 out of 130. Looks like another. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just doesn't pick the crystal up. Like maybe he walks out of here. I said Nia, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's walking out. Good, good call. That's why the doors are open, and that's why he did that before doing the rest of the doors in here. Yeah, because he's gonna drop into here, and then, well, actually no, because we've already seen this. I think. Yeah, he, he's already been there. Uh, Jim gonna be finding the maiden, but unfortunately has not bombed open the attic, so he's not gonna be able to take her to the boss room if we've even seen that. <laughs> he takes long detours around the maiden so she, he doesn't pick her up. Uh, you mentioned Hype Cave. Or, sorry, uh, the well. well. That's where Telethar is. Uh, and he doesn't have the hammer. Um, yeah, he's using the mirror. He's just using the mirror to get there. In a way that was not intended in in only doors, I, I know this, but I also know that there's no way to like disallow this. Uh, so so is it really like the logic really set where you know it's not a mitts? You can't you can't get hammer there. No, you can. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't know when you said it wasn't yeah. intended for only doors, so I, I wasn't sure if like they they did something with the logic specifically for that. Yeah, but it, it it's not intended for only doors, but there's no way to make it actually hard hmm. on the hammer. I follow uh, now. Yeah, but but like, what do you do? It, it's it's one thing, and usually you get the hammer before the meets and mirror anyway. Mm -hmm. um, just not in this case. What's up? Wendy has a spare key for this door. That's huge. That's probably the rest of the dungeon. I would think so. Yeah, because... Uh, well... No, well, maybe. <laughs> are there eight stuff in, eight things in here? There actually are eight things in here. He's going to full clear swamp. That's... Pretty huge. huge. I that, love when the fairies do love. that. It's so exciting. Zoomies. Like a cat. Well, 130, 130, 282 now. Andy's Triforce count. And Man's looking tired. Line. Yeah, Jim looking primed, poised mm -hmm. to keep the counter going up. Maybe he don't need no flippers. Telethar is back on orange. Yeah, he's got a few bonks. Uh, this is going to be a lot of Triforce pieces from what I recall. Um, and uh, Andy going to be getting all those goodies that we saw from Jim. He has bombed open the end of this or the uh, the ceiling, the attic. So he will be able to beat the dungeon if he chooses to. Can always forego. Jim has 10 items left in Thieves Town and is still traversing around. In what dungeon was the was felt swimway? I thought that was in Thieves Town. Maybe it was. If so, I'm curious as to what. No, it was not in Thieves Town because since Gem has less than 
10 checks after this. Hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, probably not this one. It might have been in Mire. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Gem was before this. That makes sense. While we kind of are going over each other's footsteps here, well, uh, Andy has a decision to make. <laughs> He's like, do I do the one chest to the left? No. I just go, no. Out, go out this and gets and makes the game decide for him to not go back. Yeah. Uh, but a reminder, later on tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be a late one, but Andy's going to be doing his first cross keys race of the 2024 tournament. We'll be casting that here. Uh, versus an Iobium Narwhal. Should be an exciting time. Boy. Good old cross keys. Good old no hover cross keys. Mm -hmm. No yeah, no that. no mimic clip. No no nothing. Well mimic clip is fine. Oh mim oh you can mimic clip up GT? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I should I should read the rules. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's only uh it's it's the Moldorm skip specifically. Uh, well, it's hovering and Moldorm bouncing that are disallowed. Okay. And he has a lot of enemies here, but all three... Well, no. Jim was the trailblazer first into thieves, or doing a lot of thieves, but Telethar also here. Coming back now as well, and with the flippers as well, but not the hammer. So the decision... For what door to take will be much easier for you for telephone yeah like honestly right now we know i know we said that jim was in a good spot he's starting to be in a bad spot uh yeah all things considered mm -hmm. he needs the but, flippers yeah the one person that needs to win to have another three person race is going to be jim uh but we shall see you know a lot of game left to play hour and a half in almost the 300 triforce pieces for these guys Four hundred? Is that when you go to GT? <laughs> For, uh, um, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Do you want to want to wait until four ten? I don't, I don't know. know. It depends it's on how many so how many small keys I have. Like if I'm sitting here at two, like I've already cleared most of GT, right? Yeah, pro yeah, and that's probably. It, it might actually be intentional to clear GT as much as you can before mm -hmm. to do it sort of early to just make the, to take that decision out of your hands. Like you just go there when you have enough track right. again, so you don't need to think about it or need to gamble about it. OK, so this is where the boss is. So Andy's going to bail out of here, so if he gets the maiden, he could drag her here. Jem mm -hmm. doesn't have the mirror from Skull Woods, so mm, yeah, that's gonna be he rough. Is, yeah, he's in Turtle Rock now and sees the exit to Turtle Rock Ledge where he can mirror to mimic them. To, to mimic cave with hype cave if he has the mirror but he doesn't so. well jim the first to 300 at 303 at the moment andy yep. close behind with 298 telethar down to 283 kind of swapped positions like almost in a full mirror effect mm -hmm. but uh still a lot of game left so it could definitely swing yet again and so jim out on the bridge Gonna go check out. Oh, he did the big key chest or the big chest already. We'll take it. We'll take it. Rude, rude enough to actually slash the chicken or well, run into it with a sword out. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Yes, uh, to answer a question in chat, there are pots under the eastern map chest. I think there are three pots there. In the video yeah. game, they have 
hearts hearts yeah it's really funny because until doors came out like most of the community was kind of like there's there's pots there like <laughs> you had no idea yep uh as well as there are like there are also pots but you know this because you need to lift them up like under the skull woods bridge mm -hmm. uh going to the bridge chest also has a couple of pots well two Right, Andy now actually taking the lead on Triforce pieces. Yeah, and he's going to be getting, if he hasn't already, one another one of those big keys. Actually, he does have it already, that TR big. Right, the ice drop was in... was in the Swamp Hub. And yes, that's going to be... is the only one with it. Yeah, that's Hyrule mm -hmm. Castle Revisit. So that's yeah. a little bit of the time, you know, that Telethar is like, quote unquote, behind mm -hmm. uh, just due to that, that, that Hyrule Castle revisit. Jim is back in Harrow. Is this is what yeah, he this needs is, to do. This is good. This is good for yep. Jim. I'd say this is also good for everyone who really wants the three player game or three player actual finals. Yeah. Because yeah, that will be will that be actual finals? Like will will two people in that race get a get a strike? Yes. Yeah. It's yes, basically two people in this race will get a strike. Correct. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, you, okay, I get it. Yeah. That makes sense. Hints in this mode. Um not the best. Since it hints about overworld locations and we know everything we need to know. About yeah. Them. Omega boring. Get... Omega boring. <laughs> I guess is Andy gonna actually spin this key? Yeah, he's he's doing it. Hey, he gets a traverse before it. It's nice. Now he has, what, nine things left in here? Yeah, he's going to have eight after the boss, assuming he doesn't find anything along the way. Mm -hmm. Telethar, taking the same route, does not have that hammer, so he's going to miss one Triforce piece. Not a big deal. Again, there are 49 extra. Telethar... No, that was... Uh, yeah, Telethar got the one in TR uh, tile room. There was Gem that didn't get it. Jem skipped it. <laughs> Can't believe Jim would do this. So the blind fight here for Telethar. Going to be a new and exciting check. Could be a Triforce piece. It could be... Could be a Triforce Quake. It could be just a key or even just a regular heart with the way this pool works. But a solid fight on script. And it's, it's a heart, you know? Uh, it is a heart. Not even worth it. He's out of here. He's like, you know what? I'm just leaving that crystal. Screw it. Don't need it. Bye. And if you're wondering why are these guys leaving crystals behind, potentially, uh, we are doing what's called Ganon Hunt. So once they have those 420 Triforce pieces, Ganon then becomes vulnerable. So they will have to beat GT to open the Ganon hole, which is where Ganon is. Jim seems unsure of where he can progress in Hera, because it seems like he knows that he needs to be in Hera. But the question is, where does he where does he need to go? I don't remember. That's for sure. A good question. Watching three screens is hard enough. Yep. So... <laughs> Watching three screens play Dorando? There they are. Did Andy find this room that Telethar's in? I think so. Yes, he did. He did. Okay. I, re I remember seeing keys and Triforce over a pit. Uh, <laughs> Is that going to work, Telethar? 
Now, well, if that was the, the intention, then yes, it worked. Well, I thought I was going back. No, oh, into Meyer. This, this is, is Meyer, yeah. And Andy's headed into TR. No ice rod, so no Trinex for him either. Mm -hmm. But this is going to lead him to boots. We did see Jim get those in here. Yeah. So, you know, he can get the ones on the torch that we just saw Telethar walk past. Yeah, it always does feel a little bad. You know, like you have what? two, three, four checks missing in an entire dungeon and you feel like you've cleared the entire thing. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of a lot of times runners are just going to move on and do what they need to not even worry about those going forward. It sucks, but you're just going to kind of made your bed. It's it's the true doors experience. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at first, it's going to happen when you play doors like normal doors and no, no weird hot shuffle or, or... Uh, or enemy drop shuffle, but then it's gonna stop happening there and it's gonna instead happen when you do pots and when you do enemies. Now, Jim okay. didn't get to do this. Yeah, I think this is where Jim needs to go. I remember seeing <laughs> Telethar going through that. I love that it just kind of loops around onto itself. Yeah. Phenomenal. Right, Jim hasn't been here, but both of the others have been here. So this is likely the flippers. Now flippers no, are going to be... Not, not, not the flippers, sorry. Uh, the cane. Oh, he has the cane. He picked up the cane. Yes. Oh, right. He needs to go to Skull Woods. No? No, Skull Woods is where we got that. He He's in the right dungeon. He, flippers are here. He's just got to find the Thieves Town attic. That's it. Yes. And, and he's he's here. very close here. Yes. He's also gonna yes. get his mirror. He's got a lot of things that he's mm -hmm. gonna get, which is good. Yeah. Yep. And he's gonna just walk on through. Don't get to normally do that. And we're gonna check hype cave. So here's the question. Is hype cave gonna be any value today? Five oh. items. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, no, I was just counting here. We get one piece, two piece. Blue piece, compass, uh, some piece. Like, <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. All right, two pieces. That's not bad. Take it. Okay, so we, our runners are what? Six Triforce pieces within each other? Yeah, it's real close. <laughs> You'll love to cool. see it. Vastly different routes. Yep. After half an hour. That that's where uh, that's when the, the different routes started. Mm-hmm. A lot of similarities early on, but now it's just completely crazy. Yeah, the first thirty minutes we had, you know, Jim and Telethar basically holding hands, like going yep. through every single <laughs> every single dungeon together. Now Jim is going to get his flippers. There we yeah, go. this will be good for Jim. Very good. Yeah, I mean, the good news here, like Jim's late to this, right? But he has been doing, he has not been bottlenecked. He has no. been doing things. So uh, being late to this is not going to be a death sentence. So definitely still in this race. Yeah. And, and there, there was a lot of pieces in, in Swamp that Andy has gotten, but no one else has yes. gotten. Uh, so, and, and it's this as well. So he's going to be back on track. Yeah, this is, this is good for Jam. This is good for the race. This is good for the... For it's the good for us. Journey. Yeah, it's good for us. Only love seeing Landmo 2. Nice detour of just wasting time. The gem gonna get his silver arrows here. Palette on Andy's side makes it look like no pots are randomized. Interesting that it did the different sprite pose a couple times with the two arms in the air. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, with the I guess because of the boss kill. I suppose. But hmm, that's weird. Yeah, I've never seen that until just then. It was two different times, so. Like when he picked up the items from the pots. Yeah, like huh. that was that was the two arm pose, like or the crystal pose, I guess. Oh, but really? Then, yeah, but then the he had another one where it was just the the normal like you know item get. Huh. All right, so those Triforce pieces that Andy just got are pieces that Tedathar and Jem might never be able to get. Because none yeah, of them true. have the hammer. Hmm. Tricky. Yeah, it's all about, you know, how how well can you sequence things that are completely out of your control? And just kind of adapt on the fly, you know? <laughs> how well can you play the game when you have no idea how to play the game? One. 336, 329. All right. Hey, getting a few more here on Andy's side. He's got the big key, so he is going to be able to do all of this, get these three pots as well as this chest. Uh, Telethar cruising through the Misery Mire. 88. 89, actually, out of 144. Mm -hmm. Andy almost getting that clutch bow shot there. Yeah, that was a good attempt on a, on a really cool strat. I like it. GT big chest there in the mire dungeon for Telethar going to give him a another Triforce piece. Telethar finding stuff that I don't think I've seen from either from neither Gem nor Andy actually. M maybe maybe the we've seen here, this I room. Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, I remember seeing the Hellway. I don't right. remember who did it. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing this room. So mm -hmm. someone someone did this for sure. Okay, so this is Jem's hammer? Yes. And then, no, that was in that pod room. At least I thought it was in that pod room. That pod balcony? On right side. I don't think it's obviously in pod, but you know, because this was one of the last rooms Andy did in this dungeon. So Jim's close. Yeah, you, you might be right. Yep. Yep. And see, Jim's going to hit this in a good sequence where he could just keep going yeah. through this. Because Andy found this first before finding the top. Although Andy did find the top as his last, literal last thing in the dungeon, so he knew mm -hmm. that he was done anyway. Now this is where it gets a little interesting. We are sub 100 for all runners. Mm -hmm. So now's when you know you start to pay attention a little more. All right, he so he's actually in the lead right now. He is. Now we have both Gem and Telethar in Swamp. Telethar with four checks done, Gem with 44 checks done. It's a big swamp. It is. I mean... You're never going to get through all of it. Mm -hmm. At least it feels that way, but yeah. uh, Andy going to be at two, I no one item left. So just the Trinex. So if Ice Rod not required, potentially doesn't burn him. I'm, I don't see how it could, honestly.
The Mire, yeah. Andy has barely been in Mire. He has eight out of B keys now. Um, I think when I saw Telethar in here just now, he had four. So Andy might be able to do significantly more in here when on his sort of first big dip into Mire than the others. And I, I gotta say, these guys are making much better time right now than I thought they would. Yes. Same. That, but that's sort of the point and the beauty of, of Only Doors. Like, you get the good stuff. You get, like, mm -hmm. constant dopamine shots because you know where all the good stuff is. You just have to... You just have to go through the dungeons. Right, uh, right. You don't need to spend time figuring out logic for the overworld because there are none. Basically. There is logic. It's just not there. That That's it's, the logic. That is the logic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he gets his ninth key for my... There's Hammer there for Telethar under that pot. Yep. So he's going to be... Hammering down shortly. 363, 361, 348 are the Triforce piece counts as more keep rolling in. Right. And Jem found this room from the other side with the water not drained, so he couldn't actually swim to his hammer from that side. Um mm, yeah. And no, that's not that's the wrong uh Drain room. Hmm. Jim will make his way there. I have faith. He will. He will find it. I have Jim 041 faith emote. Uh, uh, does he even still have that emote? Yeah, we still have faith. Sure do. <laughs> Alright, we're not doing uh Andy's not doing um power room there, but he is gonna cast bombos here. Get rid of these enemies. Yeah. When I do tile room here, by the way, coming from right from from the right, I like to go out here first. Cause that will oh, allow sure. to to uh to definitely be like safe from the bunny beam. Because I can just stand in this doorway and not get hit by the bunny beam, but... Okay, he doesn't care. No, oh, he doesn't. Okay. All right. He he thought about it, and then he said, Nah, I'm good. No TY. Yeah, see, Meyer really didn't have a huge amount of Triforce pieces, so that's how um, Jib's basically been able to, you know, claw back. claw back, yeah, and make it, like, where he's right there dead even. And I there's, like, four in this room, I think. Um, he doesn't have hammer, oh. but he is going to get some under these pots. Did he forget the pots on the ledge? Or has he been there already? No, he can't have been. He, no, he forgot the pots I, on I the ledge. I guess he forgot them. Yeah. I wonder if you realized. Oh, he, he got, got those, those he is what we're hearing in chat. All right, good. Thanks. I missed him. That's what happened. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe you can't pr perfectly watch three screens. Andy going to be doing the mimics rooms here from GT. Meanwhile, Telethar going to be fighting Argus. 
He has a nice item count of 69 of the 130. May see him bail out of here uh, when he's, you know, not picking this crystal up. Mm -hmm. You need? And we'll see where he decides to go next. Gonna see if there's an item there. There's not. So this is where, like, as a runner, you, you start to, like, you know, heart rate starts to go up just a little bit. You know, you're sub 50 here for Andy and Jim. Jim knows that these guys are good. Jim knows that he might be in it, but he may not be in the lead. And his tournament yeah. life is on the line. And at least to me, okay, here's James Hammer. Uh, at least to me, Triforce Hunt has a tendency to like ramp up the the heart the heart rate a bit more. Mm -hmm. because it happens so gradually uh, compared to a, a, a normal whatever casual boots. You get the go mode and you your heart rate speeds up a little bit, but then you just have your actual go moding the rest of the game as well. Yeah. But here you just you just start to breathe faster because it's just getting closer and closer and closer and closer but you're still not yeah you don't have to kill there. well you got you have to kill ganon i guess in this but you like do. you don't have to climb gt and stuff well we do uh never mind um but you know you you, you talk about the thing earlier like when do you go to gt like how many yeah. items do we have left so when do you want to mitigate that risk like, does Andy do it in 22 pieces? Does he do it in 32 pieces? 32, yeah. And Jim is slightly ahead. He is. Not by much, but a bit. Yeah, now he has these two and the two below. Because now he has the hammer. And then one check somewhere else in the dungeon that I have no idea where it is. And he doesn't care. It's true. But we do have nine of our B keys on Andy's screen. Let's see yeah. where Jim heads next. He's fluting to the Mire area. This is probably going to be some desert shenanigans. This is probably going to be uh, Minimal Dog Cave into desert shenanigans, but yeah, you're right. I wonder how much left he has. He actually has in desert. I want to say there was something water in desert that might be part of what we're missing. Oh, was that where Phelps was? It's possible. Hmm. Yeah, we did. I, I think we saw Andy like pop out here. Yeah, because I remember seeing that shovel. Telethar has that as well. Yeah, but there was at least one Triforce piece here. So this isn't going to be like a fool's errand for him. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So this is most likely the well for Jim with his hammer. I don't think Andy's still gone. Like he still hasn't gone to the well. Oh, that's, I think you're right. <laughs> has he just forgotten? Because he has had the hammer for a long time. Yeah, he was first to the hammer, last to the well. Um, Man, I, I think, what is it? Just a few Triforce pieces at most here, so. Yeah, and I don't think, ba barely that, like one or two. I've seen, I count one so far on gym screen. There's two. All right, so three, unless there's one here in this top chest, yeah. All right, this is big for, for, for Andy, because this is Phelps. Phelps is in Meyer, clearly. Yeah, and he's going to probably be able to spend one of these keys, too. Yeah. You do that, right? You spend it? I'm spending it. Like, at this yeah. close to the end, I've got five spares. I'm yeah, spending this a... one. And he's it's... working about it. He is... Mm. All right, we got one. Surely this is okay. He only got oh. one. <laughs> he, uh, uh. <laughs> and then he has to spend another to get out of the other other side. This is where you sweat and you hope and pray. Now he's gonna be able to get more items here. Did he do this already? Look at Gem. Oh, he got it. What a yeah, game. What? Yeah, he's that mad gaming. Sick. That was sick. 
at Hyrule Castle Big. And that's where the Hyrule Castle Big was. That's why Teletar went back to Hyrule Castle because he knew he could also mm, get, yeah. uh, get the get the stuff on the ledges in Spawn Pub and the big chest. That makes sense. Yeah, Jim's going to get a few more pieces here. Now, where Jim is now, Andy has not been. I know Telethar has been here. So, you know, you can kind of count on those being something. Now, we didn't see this Viddy fight, did we? We did not. Jim ignored it. Interesting. Now, with Silvers, I'm wondering if Andy's going to be tempted to do it. Should be able to just exit, right? Yeah, I mean, he's going to be really close on the item count here with picking up all these pots. He's going to be one off. One off. That's uh, not distressing at all. No. <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing besides the Triforce piece, really, that this could be. Maybe keys. Uh, that would be a value. So we'll see what he gets. He's praying. Oh, we got a Triforce piece yeah, out of it. Is that mm, okay? Do you like? I question this. Like, I seriously question grabbing that crystal. Like, yeah, unless it's... unless there's something I'm not aware of, you could just can't you just run out and then mirror? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. So, uh, man, that's like ten full seconds. Yes. Like we know how close this is. Yeah. Okay, he's finally doing the well. Bad man. Maybe, maybe you need, like, you know, you said you need a break every once in a while, you know, like, Yeah, sometimes... that, that could explain it, yeah. Jim is... Jim's betting on GT, and he, he's not hurting right now either. He's doing pretty good. And this is, I mean, we're talking about Andy Jim right now, but Telethar is lurking here with 385. He is not far behind. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say I know Telethar has already dove GT for these. So, you know, he'll have to revisit. Jim is at 400. We've hit the 20 mark. Jim takes a sip of what I assume is Dr. Pepper out of his amazing <laughs> mug. <laughs> and Jim has 40 checks left in this dungeon. If Half of them are Triforce pieces. He's good. Oh, and he's going to Skull again? Ooh. He never took this drop. Okay, he's not Oh, yeah. Drop. Well, he should take that drop. There was like four or five there. Like, yeah, that would yeah, give yeah, him yeah, a yeah. decent bit. Maybe he actually went back there. I don't remember. He did get stuck. We're like going to a boss, or one of the runners did. Yeah. So, Jim at 401... The number she be a climbing. Oh, Jem doesn't have all the small keys, and we haven't seen Aga too. I know that's he, that's distressing too. <laughs> he needs to be careful. Yeah, Andy has three as well. Telethar with four, so Telethar has all four of them. That's something to think about. This is new. Nobody's done this yet. Nope. But the question is, is it... Man, we didn't go up. Interesting. Like, will this be valuable, though? Hype cave now for Telethar. That's going to give him some of those Triforce pieces that Andy has, and Jim does not. Okay, that that is a key saved for Jim. So that means mm. that he has all the small keys he needs for, for, for GT. He's that's, all set then. He's all set for GT. He just needs to find the boss. Like he can use the small key door. He can use his small key below where he just was, which is what needs. So it needs to happen. Yeah. Telethar's still hanging in there. Three ninety. Going to be a little higher here. Just a bit. Has a few uh -huh. more Triforce pieces coming his way. This is oh, where the tunic MSU that. gets yeah. ominous when that heart oh, rate yeah. starts going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is that uh, boss spot we were talking about. Yep. So there could be some Triforce pieces here. Five pots available as well as an enemy. There is one. 
and there are uh, multiple pots and enemies like at the in the next room uh, in the next room yeah there we go lots and lots of enemies dropping things not any of them really being triforce pieces we are going to get two out of here though 399 for andy 394 for telethar bottom right of your screen as he is continuing through turtle rock he does have the ice rod he could kill trinex for maybe little reward at this point like a triforce piece Andy gonna fight the moth here gonna invest the time he's gonna have to pick this crystal up because he'll be stuck in here there's no yeah. walking out of this one <laughs> yeah you can't mirror either all of a sudden he just floats out to the top okay apparently gt4 key was just in gt as we see uh, jim yeah. grabbing that yeah all right will telethar actually beat trinex here you do right i think you do in his shoes and he's he's doing it so here we go this is a lot of stuff for jim now, this is going to be a lot for Andy because you remember both of them have done this. So now the question is going to be, will Jim hit that magic 420? Yeah. Like in GT, <laughs> like if he in has GT. done, if he's hedged his bets correctly and gets this, then that's like the biggest gamer move uh, to he's, keep he's himself alive. He's not going to. Yeah, there's not enough. No, there's not enough at all. Huh. Andy's at 403 and hasn't yeah. even gone in there. Like, I think Andy's primed to be in a really good spot. However, Telethar lurking in the shadows right now. 398 has a good bit that he could continue with. I'm I, I'm not I don't think we should count out Jem because Andy still needs to make it here. True. And, True. and Jem kills Agatun here. He still has the flute and the hammer, so he can still get to the pyramid quickly. Sort yeah, but that of. little bit of overworld traversal is kind of like, annoying. I know, it's annoying, but the question is how how rough will it be? Like, that was a good dagger fight as well. It was, it was very quick. Uh, oh, if Jem just hits up 12 sort of quick checks, I don't know where he could go. For he them, could but... go, he could go back to Skull. Well, no, he can't. Mm, there was only like one or two the way Andy went that Jim has not gone in Skull Wood. So that, that hammer locked route. Yeah. But Telethar look lurking here, about to at, tie at Andy. 404. Yeah. So he's like, in a really good spot too. 405. Yeah, Jim goes back in her castle. This is this is actually really clever, because this is just up here. Yes, and this is actually like I want to say four or five pieces, so yeah, he's going to be in a good is, spot. This is good. This Very is good. easy to forget about Hyrule Castle in situations yeah. like this in the, the oh, home yeah. stretch. Oh yeah. Tenethar has somehow just crept up on Jim. Oh, Andy finding this room. Oh baby. Yeah, this is where the Skull Woods dive thing. really panning out. If he gets a couple yeah. more, I would. If I'm in his shoes, I'm headed to Skull Wood. Oh man, do you go? Do you go to GT with twelve, missing twelve? I don't think there's twelve in there, but there might oh, be. He's done. Oh no, Jam! This is. Oh my God! He just has to sit here. To look at this. Oh no. This is big uh, Monka Sweat type this moment is here. Sweat. Oh, yeah. Okay, so of course, Jim now, unfortunately, going through those doors just to get to the sanctuary. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. Telethar going back into TR with TR here with those hammer. Going to be able to get those. He's at 413. You know, I told you, don't count anybody out. He's tied for the lead. Andy's five behind. He's got to get through this room the way we were talking about it earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, he's getting through. Laser bridge for Telethar. What's he got here? Three chests. There's one.
can go through that. Okay, so Jem has four checks left in Harvard Castle. He can't get enough. Mm. He needs to go somewhere else. Telethar only needs five, but he's got to complete GT. And he needs 11. Were there 11 in here? Oh, as we get three in a row, I knew there was at least two there, but I wasn't sure if it was three. Wise Jem. move by Jim there. He's leaving yeah. a portal. Telethar at 417 now. Yeah, it's... It, oh, dude. But the thing is that Telethar still hasn't found Aga 2. He still needs to find Aga 2. Right. So it's going to take Andy. some time. Yeah, but Andy's at least in that dungeon. The question is, will he oh, get the eight he point. needs? He's in GT. And also, he is on the correct path to Aga 2. And Telethar at 418. It's just... A, he's going to get two in here. There's at he's least two. He'll be yeah. at the counter, but then it's beat the dungeon time. He's cleared a lot of GT. How much of it does he remember? Okay, he didn't get two. I'm wrong. Oh, Jim. He's going back to GT. If I'm Telethar, there's at least, unless I, I'm miscounting for him, there's at least one in GT. Uh, there yeah, has yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. There has to be one in GT for Telethar. These are the types of races you love to watch. This, These this are the types of races you hate to be in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're competitive. Love. Yeah. It's so good for them though because they don't know how close it is. This is this is awesome. Okay. Now if Andy doesn't screw these up that Oh he dropped one! There was two there. He can respawn him, I think. He can respawn it. He just goes back into this portal and it's back. He just bonks the wall. Yeah. I think there was one here. Yeah, there yeah, was. So yeah. he needs one. He's the big nodders. Jim stoic as always, but he's in Eastern Palace. He's stuck here. He he's got keys, but he's gonna have to go. Andy's yeah, at 421. Andy, what are you checking, my friend? What are you? He must be worried about keys. All right, he also has three. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Andy in the lead with 422. He is at the mark. So is Telethar. At this point, it doesn't matter the number. They have cleared the amount. It is who can get to Aga 2 first. And honestly, considering Andy mirrored in the room that Telethar is in, I want to say that Telethar is ahead. Like, unless unless he's about to get boxed out like Andy just did. Oh, he's going to have to mirror. Jem is going through spots in this dungeon that he hasn't done before. Oh, no. Oh, he might find enough pieces to just mirror out, go through the portal. Oh, it's true. Like, it's... Dude. Oh, it's this room. Okay, there... Are there three pieces here? Oh. Quake is here. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't get three pieces here. That's well, he two. two here, and there are more in the next room. Yeah, I think... Is Jim clutch this out, dude? I think Jim has this. In case there is at least there has to be one piece here there's got to be none of the come others on. are in give it to me oh come on oh, no. what the heck does he have a big he has the big king there it is there it is okay jim's in a really good spot now he just has here. to flute back to his portal because he oh. left it there even if Andy and Telethar find it, this is Jim's race. Like this is I, this, race. This is Jim's race. He's gonna keep himself alive. I think yeah. he's gonna get the three I player did. finals. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus, this was so sweaty. Holy moly. <laughs> I don't know. Are they doing the same mode? I, I hope they do. Because <laughs> this was like the best the best three-way race oh watch. yeah like, holy i see now that 20 minutes ago andy asked in the race room if it's fast or slow ganon <laughs> and oh Gemma, no no <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that is actually funny. <laughs> yes. 
especially since this is what it came down to. Like, oh the yeah, others, Andy and Telethar just had to find Aga too. <laughs> well, what's great about this, like, we went from like you and me both went from Jim being in this like perfect spot early on with some of the items he found to suddenly being kind of behind yet keeping on clearing things and keeping himself in it not really getting bottlenecked and here he is getting ready to basically win this race yep and getting a double here that's gonna do it get your ggs in chat for jim gonna take the semi-final race Finals? giving andy and telethar both a strike A little bit of excitement there from Jim as he has clutched it out. Oh, yeah. As Andy walks into <laughs> Aga 2. <laughs> Andy, Andy just found Aga 2, yeah. It just took him slightly too long to get there. That's, yeah. Oof. All right, so Humbug, <laughs> he, Andy could have come to GT3 Triforce Pieces sooner. He could have. Yeah, that was, you know, we were talking about when do you come? That's when you come. Clearly. Hindsight, so easy. <laughs> yeah, look at Telethar. He has 420. On the in dot. The, in, in the Aga fight. <laughs> if we add all the crystal holding time, I don't think it adds up to to, to the deficit here. Oh. No, it doesn't. No, it, it, Andy collecting those did not decide this race. Uh, not at all. Uh, so Andy and Telethar will finish here since they are so close. Although Telethar mm -hmm. has one heart, he just has to stay up, I guess. Um, but they will finish since they are so close to. to yeah, the yeah, yeah. And then we'll see if we can get them all in here to chat about this. Oh yeah. So showing his expert uh, execution there on one heart, just casually dash striding again in phase two. Love to see. Oh that. yeah, Andy getting into phase four here with his silvers and Ganon going down. Get a GG in chat for Andy, and he gets second. Still gonna be getting a strike though. Telthar are going to be not too, ooh, a little close there, but should be okay to get a double. Oh, he has a fairy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and he does. Yeah. All right, get GG's in chat here for uh, Telthar as well. All right, well, we've got Telethar with us so far. GG's, man. Yo, GG's last place. <laughs> GG's. <sighs> Not by much. I mean, it's, considering how the seed went, I mean, <laughs> it's as close as this race is and was throughout. Uh, I wouldn't be too worried about that. <laughs> uh, Andy and Jim here as well. GG's, guys. GG's. GG. GG's. GG. Any anybody else have a nine million nine hundred? Okay, then my that was hilarious. Oh, what is this collection rate? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> well, it gets better. It oh, gets it better. crashed right oh. after. Perfect. Sorry, what happened? All right. Um, so on the restream, he just had like a nine million collection rate. There was like no slash, and then he said it gets better. And right after, like the item started to come up, the game crashed. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's yeah. uh, that's DQ. That's, yeah. not a, that's not a finish screen. We, just, just, we need to re-race, right? Like that's yeah. <laughs> no, nope, unfortunately, I am an admin, and I decide I win. 
ってもらった。<笑><笑><笑>
it was he, he was smart about his portal too, leaving that like in the Hyrule Castle courtyard so he could just flute right back and not have to worry about like flute five or something. You're telling me that Gem ran through Overworld? <laughs> he did. <laughs> it's a little it's bit. one screen, okay? One screen. Oh my. That's Dude. fine. How do you live with yourselves? I'm pretty sure I was stuck on Death Mountain for longer than Jim was in, going through the overworlds. That's probably. honestly uh, true. Yeah. I flew into on one <laughs> instead of three, and then <laughs> like the duck missed me the first time. It was it was awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is the screen? Why am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess, I guess our game, th our next game is just winner takes all. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I wanted another three person race and uh, we're going to get it. So, Here we are. Hell yeah. I mean, honestly, I was thinking about it and it would be kind of lame if, like, next week, one of you had zero strikes and one of you had one strike and then, like, there's yeah. potentially yeah. more two games left. So, this is optimal. <laughs> it's true. Until Solsky comes in with the steel chair and <laughs> <laughs> like he tried to do in y'all's race room. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for racing, guys. It was cool to see it live uh, and not have to, you know, say I'm going to do a podcast and then get busy for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for restreaming us. Yep. Always. Uh, I'm, 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 we got us. Hoping you guys get to do finals live and I'm hoping we can do the exact same thing because this was an absolute blast. Like, is it the same mode for finals or is it a different mode? That's a great question. I think the format yeah. has been like the standard settings and then different things every other week, but I don't care. <laughs> Not really. We, we had standard settings twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had standard it's, settings it's, it's, week seven because uh, week six because this mode wasn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> it's still not done. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had never tested this, so. I, oh. I, before yeah. this race started, we I messaged Locke, who had done who had already ran the the async for the week, and said, "I just need to know does this seed work?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's fine." <laughs> I was like, All right, "Cool." <laughs> <laughs> Atlock, did you crash too? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mention that, but that, probably yes. <laughs> Maybe you needed a collection rate less than a thousand for it to not crash, or something. That would be an impressive feat in itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lock got shit on by all three of us, also. So get on Lock. Get on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Svet Kvitsa also said collection rate 999. Uh, so I think everybody crashed at the end. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, but why is their collection rate 999 and yours is NA? What is going on here? Listen, I don't know if it, uh, if the website would have accurately accepted 999174, whatever it was. Let me tell you, it does. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. GG's guys. Uh yep. see ya see you for the last one. Yeah, we'll figure out what a good mode is and figure out a time and reschedule all this for next week. Easy. Alright, humbug. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Yeah, this was a blast. Like, I honestly, like, near the end, where I didn't know who was going to win. It, it was, like, five minutes before Gem finished. I didn't know who was going to win. <laughs> uh, it was f fantastic. And then Gem just made his way finally through Eastern uh, and got his stuff. It was a super good way. So, yeah, I'm... I'm stoked for for another one of these, uh, whatever the mode is. But yeah, thanks for thanks for letting me join on constant. It was super fun. Heck yeah! And thanks to these guys again for racing. Yep. Uh, that's gonna do it for us for now. We'll be back at 9 p.m. tonight for a cross keys tourney race with uh, Andy here and Naomi uh, Narwhal. I know, late boy. I'm gonna be sleeping. God, and me I think and, I me need and to make, gonna sleep in the booth together. Cup of coffee, <laughs> like right now, if I'm gonna be awake for that bad boy.
<laughs> All right, well, you cleaned it yesterday, right? So it should be ready to roll. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, GG's, guys. See you later. Yeah. All right, thanks again, everybody. That's going to do it for us for now. We'll see you guys on the next one.